In this video, I'll show you how to test a 240 volt outlet using a low Z meter to determine if it is failing under load. I will also show you how to determine whether one of the hot lines are compromised or if the problem is caused by a neutral issue. When working with electricity, I always wear rubber gloves and safety glasses. This 240 volt electric dryer won't start. The first thing I did was check to see if it was getting sufficient voltage to the outlet. In many cases, a compromised 240 volt electrical outlet will measure properly when using a traditional voltmeter. This is because most multimeters don't put a load on the outlet and thus don't cause the upstream loose connections to reveal themselves. However, when you do put a load on the circuit, the voltage can sharply drop to an unusable level. What is an easy way to do that though? One way to detect a compromised outlet is with a low Z meter. This meter has a much lower input resistance, or impedance if you will, than a traditional voltmeter. This fact forces the circuit to supply current, which in turn causes upstream loose connections to reveal themselves. I'll first test this outlet from leg to leg, also known as L1 to L2, which should read 240 volts. However, the lug to leg voltage only reads 14.7 volts. This means that either L1 or L2 is compromised, or in other words, has an upstream loose connection. So this may explain why the dryer won't start. Now we can easily go a step further and tell which leg is compromised by referencing neutral. To do this, I'll first measure this leg with respect to neutral. We should be reading about 120 volts because this is on a split phase system. And we do. So we know this leg is good. By the way, this test works just as well for three or four wire outlets since we're not involving ground. The reason we're not is that referencing neutral can tell you everything you need to know about this outlet's ability to supply solid voltage to a load. Also, by referencing neutral, you can test either three or four wire codes with equal accuracy. Let's test this other leg and see what we get. Well, here we go. Instead of reading 120 volts, we're actually getting about 7 volts. This means that this leg, which can be referred to as L1, is compromised, or has some loose connection somewhere between the outlet and the breaker box. And this makes sense because the dryer wouldn't start, and L1 is responsible for supplying voltage to the dryer's control panel. Next, I'll demonstrate a similar case, but where the outlet has a compromised neutral. Let's take a look. Like with the previous case, I would test from L1 to L2 to confirm the presence of 240 volts. And yes, that's the case. We know that L1 and L2, then, are solid as far as the low Z meter is concerned. Now, when I measure this leg to neutral, we're only getting 7 volts. Okay, so based on this, and the fact that we already know that legs L1 and L2 are solid, we can conclude that neutral is compromised. In fact, it is rising up to within 7 volts of L1 in this case or to about 113 volts with respect to ground. We can confirm this diagnosis by measuring neutral from L2. And as you can see, yes, we're getting the same reading. Since neutral is a common denominator here, the problem must be with neutral. So our final conclusion with this outlet is that there is a loose connection somewhere upstream on the neutral line. That's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.